And Roger, this is the scene at St. James Park right now. Uh, as you can see, there's still uh, about 15 protesters here hanging out. Uh, they're hanging out under the gazebo. Now, police on bikes, they did stop by about uh, 15 minutes ago. They told these people to keep the noise down and uh, reminded them that they're not allowed to sleep here. Uh, but one of the officers did tell me that the midnight curfew will likely come and go without incident. So again, this is what's left of Occupy Toronto after police moved in today and the tents came down. Folks, let's get you to move out of the way, please. No one's stopping. We're just going to keep going. Kind of like a, a cancer in remission. We're just going to come back stronger. Just before sunrise, busloads of police officers surrounded St. James Park, ready to enforce the city's eviction order. The police are now asking for your cooperation in complying with this order by removing your belongings and vacating the park. City staff also rolled in with garbage and pickup trucks, and one by one, the tents were taken down. Let her go! Let her the first arrest happened around 11 a.m. A protester blocking a city garbage truck was carried away by police and ticketed for trespassing. How can you charge her with trespass in a public park in the daytime? We are not moving. We are not moving. And emotions began to boil as police moved in on protesters who chained themselves to the makeshift library. We are allowing them to go in and talk for their five minutes. Arrests were made, but the standoff ultimately ended peacefully. And by 6 o'clock, the occupation was over. We lost the battle, but we're going to try and win the war. What a difference a day makes. Right now, just a handful of protesters are inside the gazebo. This used to be the heart of Occupy Toronto, where people would gather en masse and hold general assemblies. Now, let's take a look around the park. It's empty. Uh, this is where hundreds of tents used to be set up. Of course, today, they were all taken down. Now, I also want to point out the ground. All of the grass has been ripped up, and there's really nothing but mud and lots of it. Now, right now, there are no police officers in sight, but according to the eviction notice, these people have to be out of the park by 12. We'll just have to wait and see if police will be enforcing that. And while the mayor has declared this the end of Occupy Toronto... The protest is over, and um, I'd like to keep it that way. And if they do go to another park, um, we will um, ask them to leave um, immediately. We're uh, planning on moving to a different place, but that's just from word of mouth of a couple people. Other people have different Occupy spots. I'm pretty sure by the end of it, uh, uh, more than just one park will be occupied in Toronto. So here we are right now, uh, under an hour to go until the city's curfew comes into effect at midnight. About 15 people. They're still hanging out here at St. James Park under the gazebo. Now, officers did ride by on bikes today. They stopped in and reminded these people that they are not allowed to sleep here. But one of the officers told me that at this point they have no intentions of moving in and forcing these people out of the park, telling me that tonight St. James is business as usual. Live, I'm Shauna Hunt. Back to the newsroom.